tolling of those bells is hanging right between the eyes. Two hours and more of all that bailing. Priests have come from all the villages. The church looks lovely. During the first response, Magdalena fainted. She's the one left most alone. The only one her father loved. Thank God we're alone for a bit and have come to eat. It's very hard to see you. Now that she's not eating, she'd like to see all of us die of hunger. Bossy, domineering. She can go to hell. I've opened her pickle jar. Why not give me some from a little girl, Alicia? In you go. Take a fistful of chickpeas, too. She won't be any the wiser today. Mm. The old woman, is she locked up properly? Two turns of the key. You should put the bar across as well. She's got fingers like five skeleton keys. She's coming! Clean everything here properly. If Bernardo doesn't see things shining here, she'll pull out the little hair I have left. Son of a woman. Tyrant of all she surveys. She could sit on your heart and watch you die for a whole year. And that cold smile would still be fixed on her damned face. Scrub that table. My hands are bleeding from all the scrubbing. She's the cleanest, most respectable, most high and mighty. <laughs> Her poor husband's earned himself a good rest. Did all his relatives come? Only hers. His people ate her. They came to see the corpse and good riddance to him. <laughs> Have they got enough chairs? More than enough. Let them sit on the floor. Since Bernardo's father died, no one has ever set foot in this house. She doesn't want them to see her in her domain. Damn her. She's been good to you. Thirty years of washing her sheets. Thirty years of eating her scraps. Up all night when she's got a cough. Day in, day out. Spying on the neighbors to bring her all the gossip. No secrets between us. But I still say, damn her. May a red hot nail pierce up between the eyes. Oh! Still a good bitch. I bark when I'm told, and when she sets me on them, I bite the heels of those who come here looking for charity. My sons work in her fields, and they are married now. But the day will come when I've had enough. Now, on that day, I'll lock myself in a room with her, and I'll spit on her for a whole year. Bernarda, for this, for that, for the other thing. So she looks like a lizard squashed by the kids, which is what she is. And all her family, too. Mind you, I don't feel any envy. Five women still on her hands. Five ugly daughters. And only the eldest has Gustias has any money, since she's the first husband's child. As for the rest of them, lots of fine lace and lots of linen petticoats but nothing to inherit but bread and grapes. If only I could have that. We've got our hands in a hole in God's earth. The only land they give to us, you have nothing. That table still has marks on it. Don't come off, that was soap or rag. The last prayer, I'm going to hear it. I love the way the priest sings. And the paternoster, whose voice went up and up and up like a pitcher slowly filling with water. It cracked in the end, of course. Even so, it's still such a joy to hear him. There's no one like John Chapinos, the old sacristan. He sang at the mass for my mother. God rest her soul. The walls used to shake. And when he'd get to the Amen, it was as if a wolf had entered the church. Amen! <coughs> Montia, you'll strain your windpipe. I used to strain something else.
Swallow for those of us who live in huts of mud with a plate and spoon. Yes, spells, ring out! Bring on the wooden box, its fine gold trim and the gold straps to carry it. We both end up the same. You can rot, Antonia Maria Benavides, stiffen your woven suit and your high boots. Rot! Never again will you lift my skirt behind the stable door. <laughs> <laughs> 